John, you must be absolutely delighted with a, a patient, professional performance. Yeah, I am. I'm really pleased with that. I, I thought we were good today. And uh, we're just learning how to win in this division, you know, and uh, there's different ways of winning, there's different types of game. And that game demanded patience, it demanded a work rate, and uh, it demanded the ability to grind, because I think Jules did a really good arm wrestle grind type of team, the complete high, they play field position rugby and they, they attempt to wear you down well. We challenged our middles to withstand that and I thought they did so I'm absolutely delighted. A lot of maturity as well in that performance. There was, yeah, you, you wouldn't have thought that one half back's 18, 19 and the other's 22, would you? You know, I, I was really pleased with them and I thought Elliot Minchella did a great job uh, having to move out to centre and Sam Hallis, who, who came on in the middle, it was magnificent and it, it looks like we've lost Reese for about four months because uh, it's an AC injury and uh, he'll have an x-ray and a scan but we, our physio feels it'll need surgery which will be, it's, it's a similar injury to Ross Peltis so it's, that's a blow because obviously Reese has been playing really well for us. Obviously Reese going off and as you've just said Elliot Minchella, uh, a lot of what he does goes unnoticed, John, but it was exceptional today. Yeah, it goes unnoticed, I think, by certain people. It doesn't go unnoticed by his fellow players, and it doesn't go unnoticed by the, the coaching staff, and, and we appreciate everything that he does. And, you know, to come with that great try, which was a real centre's try, and to stroke the ball over for two vital kicks as well, it just shows the importance that he has to the team. Was he anything up with uh, Matty Wildy, who, who didn't get many minutes in the second half or was that planned to give No, I mean, George, you know, we, we normally we bring Matty off in the first half and uh, push him back on to finish the game, excuse me, finish the game, but obviously because Reese had been injured, it, it, uh, your planned rotations go out the window and you've just, it's more reactive, but we wanted to get George out there because George last week against Keithley was our best player and he was, he was full of confidence. I thought he did a great job again today, so... Matty got a good 50, George got a good 30, so they shared the minutes well and, and they were very productive uh, you know, in that dummy half role. And Jordan Lilly and, and Rowan Milnes, John, uh, yeah, something else. Yeah, they're good kids, aren't they? They're, they're really good and they take on board what you're trying to achieve, they work out to do that and I thought they were both really good and it was great to see, you know, Gas Carvel just tipped Rowan up at half time and said, take the line on a bit more and he goes straight through and scores the first time he does it, so, uh, you know, a good bit of advice and he took that advice on board and came up trumps. Is that where you feel the game was, was won at that crucial period, Mikey Woods in the sim bin and you, you put yes, two was. tries and ten points? Yeah, we did. well, I mean, you know, we had to play with 12 men more often, right? but yeah, we were 10-0 during that 10 minute period, so it's credit to the players because they were defensively solid and I thought we still played some good rugby with, with our shape. There'll be a lot of players who leave this game with a lot of confidence. One of those will be Dalton Grant, his first start of the season in Championship, yeah. John backing up from last week and he scored two tries. Yes, but he did a lot of work as well in yardage, didn't he? He, he really worked very, very hard bringing the ball from our own line and he was very effective with that as well. So he, he's had a good afternoon. I think they've all had a good afternoon. It was a good team performance and it leaves you pretty happy because they're a challenging team at Jewsbury. Uh, you know, they don't lose by many that often. And uh, again, they haven't lost by many today. They've been very competitive and they're a tough team to play against. You say, John, about quite a lot about doing it tough this season, but another example of those two tries when you're down to 12 men. Yeah. yeah. Your belief within the team to keep going and not sort of worry about the situation. Yeah, I think we've spoken before, uh, Simon, and adversity brings things out of you, doesn't it? And you, you learn to cope with it, and I think we've done that as a group. And so when we do face a bit of adversity during the, the game, I think they just buckle down and, and get on with it and, and still, you know, maintain the composure, which is really, really pleasing. So I'm, I'm very happy with what they've done today. And the shape of the team again, having the two. Genuine halfbacks there as game. Yeah, just, I think it's it, well. Shot. Anybody who's watched the game, yeah, will you know? Un unless the uh, Stevie Wonder, they'll realise that they've you know our, our shape was much better today, and I thought our options were a lot better. So, and that that's why you have you know out and out halfbacks, which is what we had. So the other players must have felt more comfortable being in that situation. Correct. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well they're there. both very confident in although they're young individuals, they're confident individuals, and and they will make sure that the players get to the points they want to get to, and they'll make sure people shape up outside and inside as they want them to and they'll execute the place and, and that's why it's, it's exciting the young and they're going to get better but they're already pretty good.
And where does that leave you looking ahead, John? Because the other two um, arguably more recognised halfbacks, more senior halfbacks, Keys and um, Chisholm, are I understand almost ready to come back. Yeah, well, no, Joe's Joe's not ready to come back yet. No, no, Joe's really suffering with his back injury. So, you know, we're, we're keeping it under wraps uh, for Joe's sake, in all honesty. But Joe's nowhere near ready to come back yet. So, he's still long term. Dan Chisholm obviously played against Keithley. Uh, he asked for some time off next week uh, uh, to attend uh, a friend's wedding, which is one of the sponsors, and he's got that time. So, there'll be no change at half back for next week. And John, after those two home defeats on the trot against Toulouse and York, uh, putting the Fortress Otzel back on the mantle, please. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's your people who talk about Fortress Otzel. We'll just talk about Fortress 80 minutes, and uh, we just want to give a good 80 minutes, whether it's here, whether it's at Witness, or, or whether it's at Batley, or whatever. And, uh, you know, I think we've given four decent four, uh, 80 minutes performances. You know, even Keith last week, you. <coughs> He could say there were reasons behind the closeness of the game, but we, we closed it out and we won it. And that's what I'm so pleased. I've told them that. The winning games now, and last year when it was a breeze for the vast majority of games, I think we couldn't handle games like we've just experienced today. Well, we're growing into that and we are being able to.